Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In one of the previous videos, we saw specifications of Celestron's most popular and quite expensive Nexstar 8SE telescope. In this video, we will compare Mead's LX65 8-inch telescope with Nexstar 8SE. Both of these telescopes are not for beginners unless you are sure that you're going to pursue your astronomy hobby for the long term. Nexstar 8SE is a Schmidt Cassé grain type telescope by Alex 65 is a catadioptric telescope. They both have an 8 inch aperture, however Mead's 8 inch aperture comes with their ACF technology, also known as advanced chroma free. ACF gives you clear and crisp imagery with no false colors or chromatic aberration. Both these telescopes have a focal length of 2032 millimeters with a focal ratio of 10. Both of them come with a 25 millimeter plus eyepiece and have a red dot viewfinder technology. They also have almost similar optical tube dimensions. In terms of weight, 8SE weighs around 10 kilograms, while LX65 weighs around 18 kilograms. 8SE is quite easy to carry around than the LX65. Both of these telescopes have a single fork alt azimuth mount. Celestron's mount can carry weight up to 5 kilograms. However, LX65's mount can carry two telescopes at the same time. That's why the total weight of the kit is higher than Celestron's. LX65's mount can carry around weight up to 9 kilograms. But you shouldn't put the whole 9 kilograms just on the single side of the mount. By using two optical tubes on Alex 65, you can observe the distant and magnified sky view at the same time without changing much of the setting. This setup is much beneficial for astrophotography and deep space stargazing. Next star's mount comes with a database of about 40,000 celestial objects, while Alex 65's mount comes with a database of 30,000 celestial objects. Alex 65 can be controlled with AudioStar technology, with a built-in speaker which can play the information like your guide is guiding you. What you can see with these telescopes. Both telescopes being almost identical, both the telescopes you can see objects in our solar system, star clusters, nebula, and galaxies. The images obtained by these two telescopes will be good with some minor differences here and there. You won't find much difference in the image quality between them. If they are almost similar, then which one should you buy? Given that these are almost identical telescopes, it might be very difficult to choose from these two. Celestron's telescopes are quite beginner friendly, and it won't take much time to get familiar with the telescope compared to Mead's. This doesn't mean Mead is not beginner friendly, it's just a little easier on Celestron than Mead. As Celestron is lighter than Mead, if you are someone who travels a lot for stargazing, then 8SE is a good option. If you already have a telescope and want to upgrade, then Mead's double mounting can be great for you to have different perspectives at the same time. When you buy a telescope, you also need support for after sales for some faulty pieces or some damage caused during shipping. Considering that Celestron has a network and dealers around the world which offer these services, well Mead does have a similar network but not everywhere. So before you purchase Mead, please check the availability of the services in your region. I hope this video helped you to understand the little differences between these identical telescopes and make a better buying decision. If it did, then give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology related content. If you want the review of any other telescopes you have in your mind, then please let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.